Look what just came in the mail, you guys. I've got the newest Adapt Nike shoes right here, and I'm going to open them up. So for a while, I've been wanting to get a pair of self-lacing Nike shoes. And with the platinum ones and the motherboards coming out before this, I thought I wanted to get one of them, but I just couldn't bring myself to it because I wanted to keep waiting to see what else would come out. And when I saw these, I just thought that maybe it was finally the time to get my hands on one of these. And so I got them off of sneakers and they were easy to get because the price is not very attractive to some people. A lot of people have not been getting this because of the price a lot of people are hoping for it to be lower as they keep making these and i also hope that too don't get me wrong these were 400 dollars straight to cart but i mean i have them and i have them because i like them so taking a look at the inside of the box here as you can see they just come in sitting right inside there it's got all the things you need to charge them and all the electricity and whatnot because you know that's how these shoes work is they are electronic. This is the Adapt mascot, you probably know. Inside of this is a hello because of course you want robots to seem friendly and it's got a little figurine right there. And in here, in here is the wall plugs and charger stuff. But that's not what we're here for obviously. We're here because we've got to know about this shoe. But but just one more thing before I get into that. I got the manual. This shoe comes with charging pad and we are still on charging pad 1.0. I'm pretty sure it works fine. Okay, so look at this. And this thing smells fresh, like new shoe Nike fresh. There's the bottom right here, as you can see. Most of you probably know about this little indent right here. It's just Part of the design looks cool. Here's the back here, which I kind of like, you know, usually when I'm sitting down, I kind of got my, you know, feet angled up like this. So this is kind of cool. Works for me. Um, the material, uh, I'll show you what it's like when I'm trying these on. I heard that something people don't really like about these is how it could kind of be like a sock material. And like people are like having thinking that it's like weird to see their toes kind of popping up right here. But part of hiding that is what this is for right here, which is not hard plastic. It is, you know, it's, it's good. Something about the Adapt Auto Max that people don't really like is this right here because people think that they're gonna be a whole inch and a half or inch taller, which they will be, that is, that is true. These will definitely make you taller. Some people like that, some people might not. So for a while, I actually thought that this right here was the thing that tightens and you know, tightens up the shoe for you. But now I actually know that it's all, you can't really see it, it's inside the shoe. Here are the two buttons right here. You are able to tighten these manually or you could use the app, which I have downloaded. I'm gonna try to show you what that looks like. But here's the plus and minus if you wanna do it yourself. Another thing is that if this does run out of battery while you're wearing it, it will not lock up and your foot will get stuck. All you have to do is you will still be able to loosen up the shoe and get your foot out but that may not happen, so you probably won't have to worry about that. This shoe could kind of be like a controversial piece. I mean, people, there's so many problems that people have with this shoe. There's a lot of things that scare people off of this shoe, but really, I mean, I think it's a good piece. Okay, so I think to turn them on, you kind of gotta, you gotta hold both of them. I guess maybe they don't come charged. We'll have to check the manual. Okay, so I'm learning some stuff while looking at the manual here. It says, do not wear the shoes while charging. Do not stand on the charger. Well, that's kind of obvious, but you never know who might do it. Okay, guess what? It turns out turning these on involves pressing and holding the plus button right here for three seconds or less. Look at that. Those are some cool colors. Now let's uh, let's try a little tightening right here. Let's just see what it sounds like. I, I, I like the sound, by the way. Of course, I already know what it sounds like because I've been trying to learn about these shoes a lot. That's awesome. Now if I... 
such a cool sound. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll get these on pretty soon here. I just need to learn a bit more. Of course, I won't film that. You're going to see these on pretty soon. Okay, so no tricks with putting these on because I need to show you guys how this works because I haven't been seeing a lot of other unboxers show it. And it's also the coolest part of the shoe, of course, so who wouldn't want to see it? Okay, so putting my foot in here right off the bat, pretty loose, nice and comfortable. Pull up on this. And, uh, well, I mean, oh yeah, so let's talk about the, the toe part right here. As you can see so far, so good. Holy crap, is that automatic? That thing just did it automatically. That was awesome. Are you serious? Well, I'm taller. Look at that. <laughs> that was automatic right there. I didn't know it could actually do that. Okay, wait, wait. Boom, boom, boom. Check it out. Watch this. Come on. Do it again. That was awesome. Is it gonna do it? There it is. You hear that? That was awesome. Now, I mean, these I mean these, these are pretty on tight, but I might tighten them up a little bit more. Of course, it's not trying to like crush your foot or anything. Where's the thing? There it is. Let me show you what this is like. Oh boom, there it is. Getting tight there, that's nice. That's good. Yeah, I might leave it like that. All right, just look at these. All right, I'm gonna get the uh, better angles going here. Okay, so look at this. Now, some of the things I've seen with the design is how, as you can see right here, it's kind of easy to, you know, get on your toes right there. And sometimes when I'm walking, I mean, I mean it, it works. It totally works. I don't have a problem with it. You guys know what I'm talking about, how it kind of like goes up here. It's not much of a problem. And now what I really want to talk about here with the whole sock part and how people are like, oh, I don't want my toes showing on the shoe, is that, you know, I just want to make sure you guys see this okay. Right here, I mean, come on. Does it look like there's any problem there? It looks like you're wearing a normal shoe. I mean, yeah, if you're doing this, I mean, but nobody does that, right? So yeah, so far, you could cross that off your worries list. I don't think it's that bad. I know you can kind of see this, but where are you looking at me from? Are you looking like right, are you, are you like inspecting my shoe? I think it looks good. I don't think that there's a problem with that. Wait, I'm gonna, I wore the right pants today to tell you that. I mean, this thing match up so well, which is kind of why I finally decided to get these was because of the color. I mean, the white ones are pretty cool too, but uh, I like this as well. And you know, I have wanted a self-lacing pair of Nikes ever since I was a kid. So now's the time. I'm gonna do some walking now. Of course, I am a little taller. Kind of awesome though. Kind of awesome. Nothing wrong. I'm not gonna fall over or anything. See, so you kind of got the roller in the back right there. It's kind of cool. Uh, one thing about the sole, I will say, is that it probably will pick up a bunch of the dust and whatnot. I mean, okay, what, what sole doesn't come on? But this, this sole is, it's uh, it's pretty, uh, it's kind of the sticky rubber. They call it, they call it gum. That's what it's called. But yeah, I mean, they're pretty awesome. I mean, they're, you know, they're, these are maxes, so they're comfortable and everything. So I can't lie, these are pretty big shoes, no surprise. I mean, we all know what's having to go into these, all the electronics and, you know, making it do what it does. Yeah, I guess since I'm done walking around in them, I'll take them off here. You gotta hear the awesome sound again. There it is. Check it out. That's the coolest thing ever. So it's kind of like a, it's kind of like a, a window on your car. Sometimes you just kind of hold it and it goes all the way down. Don't have to hold it the whole time. Take it off here, super easy. Just slid that thing right off. It's nice and loose, it's off my foot. Okay, right, so here's what the sole looks like after I just wore it. I went outside, I went out on my porch and I wiped them off when I came in, they were pretty clean. So this is pretty much just from walking down the hallway. So I mean, you can keep these pretty clean. 
the sole is not picking up every piece of dust. Here's the other one. It's fine. Not very, not too bad. But yeah, I mean, oh my gosh, this thing so cool. Get them back on the table. Probably use a lint roller. I encourage you guys to keep watching this video because there will be a lot of things coming up that I will address. A lot of things that people want to know about, are worried about. A lot of things I'll talk about here. All right, and here's how the charger works here. You just place it on the center right there. Real nice air charger, and you know it's charging because you got the lights coming up. Another thing about the charging is that these do charge individually. Okay, so after doing a little bit of research, I learned something about how to check your battery life. All it takes is a double short press, and you can get your color right there. That was yellow, which means that mine is between 50 to 75%. These are at like 66% right now, so that is definitely true. With the full charge, these shoes could go about two weeks. That's what it says. Is that true? Well, maybe. I haven't quite tried it yet. And when you're done wearing them, Nike says that there is no need to turn these off and that they will go to sleep automatically. If these shoes are completely dead, they will take about four hours to charge completely. Remember not to leave these on for 24 consecutive hours. Now, we can't forget to check the weight here because I know, I know that people have been concerned about the weight of this thing. It's like too heavy and people have been making a huge deal out of it. So let me show you something right here. I've got I've got a mid Jordan one right here. I've got a mid Jordan one. I put it there. That's one pound and 1.3 ounces. And now let's check this beauty. One pound and 6.6 .6 ounces. This shoe is not as heavy as people say. It's like two cans of soup it's not going to be holding your feet down or anything. I'd say you're good. You don't have to worry about it. Okay, so right now the shoes are updating because I have to update my shoes now. <laughs> and uh, once that's done, I think I'll be able to have pulsing colors on the, the lights right here. Okay, so I guess I'll do a little showcase of the app here. So right now, here's the percentage. As you can see, they're charging individually, and they've been charging pretty fast. The update took about 10 minutes, and earlier they were at 50. Now they're at 70, as you can see. And uh, let's try out the colors here. So I'm gonna take them off the charger for this. Set them right here. And uh, if you hold on the color button right there, Yep, since I got the update done, looks like I have the option to do pulsing lights. And I could choose a color to have it pulse for an hour. So it looks like I could do something like navy purple. And that shows up there. Of course, it doesn't really match. Can't really see any of these that match very well, except the racer blue. It's, that's, you know, that's all right. Uh, what does this button do? This pulsing. Okay, so that's the button that makes it pulse for one hour there. And this is the lights off button. Okay, so with the app, I believe you could also have presets on your, your own fits on how you want the shoes to go. Because when you put your foot in this, it automatically tightens up to try to find a fit. It tries to tries to see what you might like. So you're able to do that with the app. Also with the app, you could individually scroll each of these. And first you have to take your finger off for it to tighten up. So you see, let's see, I want 50 with the right. And there it goes. And also with the color you select whenever you, that was the left one, that color will show up. So you could have your own color light up whenever you change your adjustment. And it will come on like that. And there's also a button on the app, release all adjustments. It's this one right here on the right. Pretty useful. A new age of shoes. What do you think? Also on the app, you could have multiple, let's say, let's say you have multiple adapts, you could have multiple on here. Another thing that you could do with the app is you could use series shortcuts to do, let's say, release the shoes. So I've got them pretty tight here, as you can see, and I'll ask Siri, release my shoes. A somewhat personal question. Are you kidding me? Okay, so you have to go onto the Siri shortcuts tab on the app and you have to add the commands that you want her to know or him, whatever you have your Siri voice set to. All right, so let's say I want the release my shoes option. 
You add it to Siri. Okay, now let's give it a try. Release my shoes. One moment. Sorry, something went wrong. Adapt says, I'm having trouble unlacing your shoes. To use the Siri shortcut to release your shoes or any other of the shortcuts, you're supposed to do it out of the Adapt app. Because if you weren't out of it, you could just press the button yourself or do whatever you had to do yourself. The whole point of the Siri thing is to do it while you're not on the app. So that's the reason it did not work. So the main reason I wanted to make this video was because I wanted to address a lot of the things in the shoe that people just seem to want to know for sure. This is what the shoe is and this is what it's like because the price of the shoe, people can't just go and be like, oh, well, it won't put that much of a dent on me if I buy them. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Anything like, oh, does it do this or what's this like? I will answer them because, I mean, I've got it right here. I'll, I'll be experiencing this shoe. I'm going to try to wear it a lot. And that's pretty much that. This is the Nike Adapt Auto Max Anthracite. That's the color, Anthracite. And I like it a lot. I got them right here. So glad that this has become a reality for me. I've been wanting these for a while. Thank you for watching this video. I hope I answered some questions you might have had about this. You know, maybe you learned some new things about this shoe. In the future, I look forward to seeing these advance and how they change. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Again, I hope you liked the video. And there will be a new unboxing coming out soon.